Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? So the uh, New Orleans Saints are back on the practice field on Monday, first day of full pads. And um, Dennis Allen, after practice, had this to say about the, the first day out there uh, in full gear. Pretty good first day in pads. Good chance to get up there and look at the tape, see what it actually looked like. But, uh, you know, I thought overall, I thought the energy was pretty good. One injury of note, Andrews Pete with a uh, quad. So take a look at that, see where he's at. But other than that, um, made it out pretty healthy. Said that uh, Pete's injury doesn't look like it's as serious as what Trey Turner's was a week ago, which is great because Trey Turner's injury obviously ended, ended his season, um, which kind of led to a bit of a roster flurry today. Um, there were four players uh, that had some roster turnover today, two out and two in for the New Orleans Saints. Let's start there on the offensive line. Um, be, I, I guess just that's the most pressing and most relevant right now. But um, So... We know last week on Tuesday, the Saints brought in two players for workouts. They brought in Trey Turner, and they brought in defensive lineman Kyle Phillips. Well, they didn't sign Kyle Phillips. They did sign Trey Turner. Now, in signing Trey Turner, they released Coda Martin. Well, now Trey Turner's injury, he's done for the year. The Saints have re-signed Coda Martin. A little bit of a background here on Martin, if you don't recall. A Coda Martin, um, and it's Coda, K-O-D-A, Coda Martin, he, uh, you might remember the name because he played collegiately at Texas A&M. It's kind of an odd name, so you'd recognize it. But Coda Martin played. He started his collegiate career at Texas A&M and then transferred and finished his collegiate career at Syracuse. He went undrafted back in 2019 uh, as an undrafted free agent. And then um, in four NFL seasons, he's played in one game, and, and it's been four snaps. Four, he played four special team snaps with Arizona a couple of years ago. That's it. So he's mostly been a guy who's lived that life of being signed and cut and signed to a practice squad and being a bit of a, of a journeyman. And he was a guy that the Saints looked at and brought in uh, for a workout for depth. And it's again, you wonder why you always do these sort of these um, these workouts. This is why. This is why you keep updated. This is why you keep updated uh, charts and files and scouting reports on players because when somebody goes down, because inevitably somebody is going to go down, who do you call? Will you call the guy that was here last week that you worked out that you know if he's good and can play or not? So that's part of it. Now, specifically at offensive guard, Coda Martin's an interior offensive lineman. Remember, you've got Andrews Pete, you've got Cesar Ruiz. You've also got Calvin Throckmorton, and you drafted Nick Saldaveri, the fourth rounder out of Old Dominion. That's four right there. You've already, you've still got, by the way, Lewis Kidd and Mark Evans. And remember, last week you also signed Max Garcia. So you have a glut of interior offensive linemen. I am not in any way expecting that Coda Martin is going to make this team. Uh, it would be an upset if he did. the The disappointment with Trey Turner's injury is Trey Turner is a guy who at 30 years old has a ton of skins on the wall, and this was his fifth year and his, his fifth team in as many years. But he's a guy that you could say, hey, look, Cesar Ruiz, Andrus Pete, if you ain't rolling, or if one of you gets hurt, which Andrus Pete got hurt again today because Andrus Pete gets hurt, drink, and you have a guy who's been to five Pro Bowls, and you can say, hey, man, get in there and, and roll. I'm not saying that Trey Turner was a guy that I was expecting could give the Saints 17 starts and play at an all-pro level. Those days are probably past him. But if Andrews Pete hurts his quad because Andrews Pete gets hurt and you need someone to roll in there, who's a better option? Calvin Throckmorton or Trey Turner? Well, I don't know the answer today, but go battle that out in camp and let's find out. Well, you don't have that option anymore with Trey Turner. So what it does is it really just limits you to saying, all right, it's Throckmorton. Unless if Nick Saldaveri can step up, have a huge camp as a rookie, and win that job, which maybe he can, but we'll see in time. They're very high on that young player. So, Trey Turner, injured, done for the year, IR. They signed Coda Martin. Pro most likely, that is just a, that is a camp body. That's a camp body, and it's someone who you're familiar, a player you're familiar with who knows 
your organization, who knows your offense, who they can have sort of a seamless transition into uh, back into the offense for training camp. Now, defensively, this is a bit more interesting. Uh, Jabari Zuniga, who's a guy that people in this part of the country should remember, uh, announced his retirement. So Jabari Zuniga, oddly enough, had a chance to interview Jabari Zuniga years ago at, uh, at SEC Football Media Days. He played collegiately at, at Florida um, and then was drafted in round three by the Jets in the COVID year. He played two years with the Jets, and then last year played for both the Seahawks and the Saints. Played one game with the Saints uh, a year ago. And um, he played in his first two seasons, played 11 games with the Jets, and then sort of danced around a little bit. But again, he announced his retirement from, from football. So Jabari Zaniga's NFL career is over, and that led the Saints short a defensive end. So they went out and signed Kyle Phillips. Again, Kyle Phillips, who they worked out just last Tuesday, along with Trey Turner. So I know that's a lot of connect the dots and six degrees of Kevin Bacon, but I think you follow me here. Last week, the Saints worked out Trey Turner and Kyle Phillips. They signed Turner. Turner gets hurt. They re-signed Coda Martin. Now Jabari Zaniga has retired. They signed Kyle Phillips, who they had here a week ago working out for him, so they had an updated file on him. Um, I hope Kyle Phillips does not make this team. And I don't mean that to be anything personal toward Kyle Phillips. Uh, this is a guy who, oddly enough, Zaniga, who is a Florida guy, retires. Phillips, who's a Tennessee guy, comes in. So Florida guy out, Tennessee guy in. But, you know, I um, I hope you don't need Kyle Phillips. Because look at what you have right now at defensive end. And he's, he's Kyle Phillips, 6'4", 275. So he's a Cam Jordan-like build of a defensive end. You got Cam on one side, and you got Peyton Turner, who's apparently playing well in this camp, right? So two first-round picks at defensive end, which is how you hope that ends up. You want Peyton Turner to win that job. Carl Granderson, who's been a good player for you, if he's not your starter, then he gives you great depth because that's a, that's a guy who's been a productive player for you throughout his NFL career. So Cam, Peyton Turner... And then if after that, you're looking at Carl Granderson and maybe Isaiah Foskey. Foskey's a guy you just used a high second-round pick on, right? And Granderson's a guy that's played a lot of football for you since he came into the league. As a matter of fact, last year, he played in 16 games with four starts. So in his career, he's played in 54 games for the Saints with seven starts. Granderson has. He's been a very good rotational piece for you at defensive end. But you would love it. If your former first-round pick wins that job, Cam, Turner as your starters, Foskey, Granderson as your backups, and then maybe Tano Passanio, who can also help you in, in special teams. Remember, his, he's kind of as such a, a big, long dude. He's really good at blocking kicks. That's kind of his MO. You put him in the middle, put his hands up, he can block kicks for you. So I would love it if that's your defensive ends and you don't need Kyle Phillips. If you need Kyle Phillips, that's I would say that's more of an indictment on your defensive line if you need Kyle Phillips on this team. But you bring him in. He's played in 15 games. He started four games as a rookie with the Jets. And maybe this is a guy who comes in and is at a point in his career where he's ready to, to take off. That's not likely the scenario. He's probably a camp body um, like Coda Martin on the other side of the ball. But you bring him in for competition and you hope that your your veterans and the guys that you've invested a lot of uh, draft capital in end up winning those jobs. So... Uh, <laughs> Camp Saints camp is not even a week old yet. They haven't even been on the practice field for seven days. And uh, you've already lost Trey Turner for the year. And today you had, you had four roster spots, two players out, two players in. And as this continues to develop, uh, we'll keep you posted. But two new guys to keep an eye on, Coda Martin and Kyle Phillips joining the Saints here on the first day of full pads. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.